I received a new delivery of conifers from coniferkingdom.com, a really good online nursery that has pretty good packaging practices. Let's take a close look at that. All the pots are taped together, and there's paper down in the bottom of the pot to keep the dirt from coming out during shipment. Tape around the trunks and paper where needed. And they have these little river cane slash bamboo stuck in here to keep the shipment from moving up and down. Even if it gets turned upside down, the top of the box will impact these canes and keep the pots from moving up and down vertically. So it's a pretty good system. Forestfarm.com uses a different system where they use cardboard across here and kind of create a little box that's taped to the bottom. And WilsonBrothersGardens.com uses kind of a cardboard cutout attached to the sides of the box with big staples to keep them from moving, but they all do a pretty good job. NatureHills.com does a good job as well. So let's take a look and see what's in this particular shipment since this is the one I have in front of me. Okay, here's the first one. And this is the Koyama spruce from Japan. Picea Koyamae. <clears throat> this particular cultivar is called Bedgeberry Blue. And as you can see, it's got a little bit of a bluish, bluish cast to the needles. Not as blue as a blue spruce, but hopefully more adaptable to the Tennessee climate than blue spruce. Pretty good form. One gallon pot. So, uh, as always, Conifer Kingdom has the highest quality, unique conifers. Let's check some others. Here's the next one. And I already had this spruce in a different form. Uh, but this one looks really good. It is the dragon spruce, Picea Asperata, from Japan. Sorry, from China. And once again, it's got a little bit of a bluish cast. Looks like it's uh, somewhat developing two trunks here, so I'll have to train this up maybe and unfortunately trim away some of this one over here after, I don't know, maybe before the growing season, just to put all the energy into this one particular one here. But very firm needles on the dragon spruce, but not particularly sharp. Pretty cool. This is a rare but interesting tree. It is the Farges fir, Abies fargesii, also from central China. Pretty small specimen here, as you can see, but I have high hopes for it because the region of China that it grows in has a climate somewhat reminiscent of Tennessee, or maybe the mountains of Tennessee anyway. So, I'm hopeful it can do well. Here's another tree that I already had one of, kind of. This is the Vejar fir from northeastern Mexico. And I had a blue one, I think it's called Blue Mountain cultivar. But this appears to be the regular green one. And even better than that, my blue Vejar fir was grafted onto Turkish fir rootstock. This one is grafted onto Japanese fir rootstock, Abies firma. So it should be really hardy. It's interesting that the grafted trunk at the bottom is much smaller than the fir at the top, but I think it'll probably be okay. It'll grow to fit the situation, I think. Yeah, very hopeful about this one. The other one has done very well, so this one should do well as well. I mean, do well also. If you've ever ordered from Conifer Kingdom, you know that they also give you a quote-unquote gift, depending on how much money you spend. They give you a choice of different gifts. This time I chose the Sekhan cultivar of Cryptomeria. So it has the yellowish tips. Pretty cool looking. Obviously it's not really free because it's built into the price of the other trees, but I actually wanted another cryptomeria, so um, this one has pretty cool looking foliage. I think I'm going to be satisfied with this one. And it's resistant to armillaria, so if you've seen my recent videos, you know that I've got that all over the place in my yard. Cryptomeria is one of the species that's supposed to be resistant, to some degree, anyway. 
So I'll try to get these in the ground at some point.